Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker and Link. Link, who was talking to us? Yeah, who is this Link? I thought we were Gaia. <laughs> well, that's because a new person is playing, that person being me. Yep, this is now Mega Freak 400's file, so any any hey, failure. Look, it's me. Any failure is attributed to him at this point. We're on a boat. Hey, we're on a yeah. <laughs> we're on a boat and we're not doing anything. I can't believe we haven't made that reference until now. I know. <laughs> Wait, who was talking I guess about we, still? Good to get it out of the way. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a boat. That can talk. <laughs> the boat can talk and laugh. I love that laugh. <laughs> as wise as the world is, he's the only boat that can speak the words of men. But can you speak the words of, words of monkeys? Or no. dolphins? <laughs> King of Red Lions. <laughs> so this is the King of Red Lions. He's pretty much uh, the, our means of getting around the whole world map. He's also pretty awesome. He's kind of like Sean Connery right in a way. He's like Sean Connery. Yes. Connery, the, big, the, Connery. the King of Red Lions is Sean Connery. The hunt for Red Lion. If they ever make a movie of Woodwinger, <laughs> he will play. <laughs> Sean Connery would play the King of Red Lions. His name is Gaden. Gasp. Ganon. That Ganon. That rings a bell from something. Ganon. Ganon. <laughs> uh, sounds familiar. Wasn't he I that, think he's uh, the villain of Kid Icarus. No, he was oh, he, some guy. I, I remember I heard of him before. Oh, he was the guy in Adventures of Lolo. <laughs> was he? No. I think he might have been. <laughs> you know, now that you say it, it's kind of starting to sound familiar. I don't know, though. I still think he was from Kid Icarus. <laughs> no, that was the eggplant wizard. <laughs> eggplant wizard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we are willing to go after Ganon and his minions. Whoever that is. It cannot be to he by human hands alone. Oh, what little strength you have. <laughs> <laughs> Basically... Basically saying we're a wimp right now, and we need to get yes. outfitted properly first. To the great let's sea. Depart. But... To the great sea. Wait, we're not going there yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, then how did you get to this island over here? <laughs> that was a very slow process. <laughs> Also, Sorry. sail is highlighted in red text. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get a sail, which is in red text, meaning it's important. <laughs> a sail. A sail. Without, Without a sail, sail, I will be useless to you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if when they're actually talking, they emphasize that word. I need a sail. <laughs> I need a sail. Do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there's no time to play. Well, too bad. I'm going to play a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're going to play around. And... Yeah, this is a video game. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's really no time limit on coming back or anything like that. Just. Yeah, and once you leave here, you won't be coming back for... Eh, you could come back, but... You could come back, but it's a little bit out of the way, so... There's, there's a good chunk of the game where you won't be able to look at So back. this is Windfall Island. And there's some boys and some ladies. And an Eskimo back there. And an Eskimo. <laughs> so yeah, this island is um, basically, I guess, the Kakariko Village of this game. In fact, the music is a remix of that theme. It is. It's pretty much like the merchant shop island. Like This is where all the main shops are. and You'll buy most of your items and do a lot of side quests here. The most amount of side quests are on this island. Yeah. And, and here's this guy. big burly man. He's a weird looking kind of guy. So let's first uh, equip ourselves. We're going to go in, uh, in this shop. And we're going to go buy some bombs. Bombs? <laughs> Does he also sell rope and lamp oil? Yeah. Oh, look at those bombs. That this would be the bomb weird. shop. Sounds like a good idea Whoa. to buy. Holy cow, that's outrageous! <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to sell the King of Lions to put forth this. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think bombs is gonna be happening right now. No. 
So yeah, we won't be getting bombs so much later in the game. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good try. We can't pay him off in installments either. He'd be like, well, if we, we'll give you 200 now. And the remaining 9,800 later. I'll sell you my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell you my grandmother. Oh god, oh, get away. Go, no! No! Help me, Is no. It? Sure. So yeah, poor Maggie. So yeah, Maggie was actually one of the women that we saw with um, Errol when we tried to rescue her and then failed. Basically. <laughs> yep. But yeah, she when he wants to save his daughter. Um, yeah. Get her back. You can't really do anything with this. It's more or less just kind of a story. Yeah. Thing. Somewhat. Well, that most annoying part though is that whenever you go close to him, he says the same damn stuff over and over again. I know. You can run away though. It's really to show you that you're not the only one impacted by this, I guess. Yes, also creepy green guys are also impacted by this. <laughs> yes, and also this guy doesn't blink. <laughs> oh, piggy! Piggy, piggy, get the pig. Get the pig. No. Oh. Okay, now it's time for the scariest thing in this game. <laughs> Don't say me. It's not me. <laughs> well, it is you, but... It's not... <laughs> ah! Oh my god! No, 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 we gotta stop the game right now, the second I <laughs> know. What is he doing here? He's in prison. Good, we should leave him there. I say the same green clothes and the same green hat. By look at you, I'd say, sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Uh, <laughs> no. Don't we need like wings or something? This would be totally efficient, but I don't get why Link just doesn't say, "No, I'm not a fairy. Get away from me, you <laughs> creepy elf-looking guy." He's been looking for the fairy folk, though. But he was uh, mistaken as a trollmaker and put in a prison. Good. Leave him there. All right. Oh, can we no, leave now? No, We need to help the poor guy. Hey, he stole so many four stems. If we don't help him, we can't beat the game. But he's creepy. So are you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, look, button. No, you've unleashed hell upon us all. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? You've opened Pandora's box. You've unsheathed Shira Nui, and now the darkness is spreading across the world. Here is Tingle's heartfelt <laughs> gift. Tingle, Tingle. Ooh, Tingle's Limba. fun gift is confetti. <laughs> Become an item. Don't turn us into an item. Oh, wait. That. So this is actually an interesting feature. Um, if you have the Game Boy Advance link cable, you can connect your Game Boy Advance and use it to have someone else play as Tingle of sorts and use items. And it's actually used for a side quest of sorts that we're not going to do because it's not really worth it. We might show it off, possibly. Yeah. Maybe. But it's kind of stupid. I mean, I <laughs> guess it's a, it's an attempt at co-op, but it's weird. Four Swords Adventure did that better. Yes, Four Swords Adventure did better co-op. Although you need four friggin' link cables to do it. Yeah. But. The setup is expensive. And if you want to... Actually, I've seen a setup where you uh, attach the Game Boy Advances to, you know, the game other Game Boy players so you have everyone has their own TV, too. Well, that would be pretty intense. <laughs> expensive, but expen and also expensive because you need four yeah, game but cubes. Yeah, <laughs> But uh, we got a tingle chart, and this little line uh, is hints to things to come, unfortunately. But the tingle chart will guide us to his island if we ever want to see him again. Please don't go to that. All right, island. so now there's something we can actually do in here. There's a hole. Why didn't Tingle find that hole? Mm -hmm. Oh look, mushrooms. Tingle couldn't push that box out of the way. So yeah, if you go a certain path, you can get a somewhat useful item. It's good as for a side quest. For some um, qu a side quest, as yeah. well as a huge overlapping quest of sorts too. Yeah, one of the one of those big like side Probably quests. Probably the most that, ambitious it, thing to do in any Zelda game, I'd say. It's also very very tedious too. I don't know if we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna. Well, like show it and show like okay this is what you would do if you were to do this quest but I think hey, actually like doing it is a much much different story very tedious mm -hmm. but anyway here we have skulls and a box right too and in this chest we have a light, Golden light. <laughs> shiny demon magic <laughs> <laughs> the picto box Box, yeah. Odd place to hide a camera. <laughs> uh, the picto box first appeared in Majora's Mask, but in that game you can only take one picture at... Well, maybe... I think only one picture at a time, but it was only yeah, used one. for 
uh, a heart piece, and that was it. This yeah, game but has this you can do three. Yes, now you can save three pictures, and it's used for something much bigger that we will get to later. Also, rat. I'll look at her mouth. Ding. <laughs> so <I have> to <laughs> it's a tarp. It's a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically what happened just there is if you take the wrong turn in that little maze thing, that mouse will pop up and dump you out there. However, it's easy to tell uh, whether those things are traps or not because you can actually kind of see like the wood like yeah. off to the side. Yeah. yeah. So it's not that bad. So now that we got uh, that taken care of, let's actually do what we came here for. Uh, let's find a sail. Yep. Hey, look, an Eskimo. This Eskimo has it. Lizards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. This town called Windfall! <laughs> Windfall! <laughs> but dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm just sent in tore my ship to bits, yet mysteriously only that! Only that! <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Could you... That! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the people aren't interested in that because they're not uh, willing to travel around the dangerous seas, but we need to in order to beat Geddon. And his minions. <laughs> yes. And 80 How does 80 money. rupees sound? Plenty of money we have. Yeah, that's yeah. chump change compared to what we have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before you know it, we'll be able to afford those bombs. And now Take we got a sail. We got a sail. So you use that on seas to use your boat. No, use that on your boat. <laughs> use that <laughs> on your boat. I almost think, <laughs> couldn't they have just made the sail just not an item, made just attach to your boat? I mean, I guess there's things later on that change it, but you know what I mean? Couldn't it just been the standard thing that's attached to your boat? Yeah, it could have been. I I think it probably would have worked better if it was that, so you could have more items on your X, Y, and Z buttons. But yeah. Oh well, not the case. I, it's nice that you have... Uh, a Z is an item, though. I know in, like, Twilight Princess on the GameCube, Z, and also on the Wii, I think, too, Z is not, you only have two item slots as opposed to three. Yeah. So oh, here we have a teacher, Miss Marie. Miss Marie, School of Joy, Oh. <laughs> well, no, wouldn't it's that be so easy? It would be, Miss Marie, School of Joy. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Miss Marie, School of Joy. <laughs> <laughs> you must have joy. <laughs> joy. So, yeah, she's been teaching the Island of Joy, so the entire point of the school is to teach about joy. Yep. But of course, there's someone trying to steal her joy and take it from themselves, with dirty little peas. <laughs> and this is the Wind Waker equivalent of the uh, Bombers Gang from uh, Majora's Mask. This is the Ivan, the, um, Ivan Ooze, the, uh, <laughs> uh, Killer Bees is their name, I believe. Yeah. Yep, Killer Bees. Which, it doesn't really relate to them in any way other than... Not to say that the bombers did either. Maybe they like honey. They could like honey. <laughs> they could. They could secretly be bees. <laughs> be bees. The secret lives of bees. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, so. here they are, actually. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I love the look on his face. He's like such a wise guy. It's, it's face, I think it has a gender. <laughs> did I say it's face? Yeah. yeah. Well, with that dress, it's not really clear. Well, I mean, the one with the blue hair, I could be questionable of, because... One character is quite questionable. I mean, with the one with the, pink, the one with the pink shirt and the suspenders, I'm not really yeah. sure. <laughs> so yeah, if we play hide-and-seek with them, we can... Do uh, stuff. Convince them to be good. Yep. Will spread the power of joy. Your funeral? How is Hide a Sink gonna kill us? <laughs> you didn't find them in time. Die. <laughs> we won't hide indoors. We won't leave this island. We won't leave this island if you can catch all four of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they always hide in the exact same spot, and it's not that hard to catch them. No, it's not. Especially if you know where they are. And even if you don't know where they are, it doesn't take very long to catch them. Oh, look, it's Mario. <laughs> yep. So the first one's right over here. Yep, behind the bush. There you are. Ah. I love oh. how they run. They run like Goku and Dragon Ball with their arms behind their back. Yeah, with their arms like that. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've never just, actually like, tried actually running. I've never tried doing that, though. It's not. It's weird to actually I've try I've never doing tried it. 
I don't know. I'll have to sometime and let you know. You're awesome. It's like a I secret think. way to get more speed. I don't know. Put your arm behind your back and you can run like Superman. Or <laughs> yeah. Flash yeah. Flash that's, or that's the secret to supersonic speed. Super sonic racing. <laughs> <laughs> and in this tree, another boy. It's Ooh, Ivan. Bunch. Ivan the Terrible. Ivan Ooze. <laughs> Ivan Ooze. Not that that movie was any good. <laughs> no. <laughs> So yeah, they can be kind of annoying to try and catch, but they're not that bad. No, I'm not like that you. Charge! We have the barrel roll him. on our side. We did a barrel roll, so we're okay, victorious. There's two more. One of them is a little bit more tricky to get to. Oh yeah, yeah. this one was a little annoying. It's actually Come behind on. the bomb shop, and to get yeah. there you have to... You have to use bombs. <laughs> you, you have to blow up the bomb shop. <laughs> no, you have to just sneak across this little ledge here, and then you'll find him. Yep. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I thought you were going to fall off there for a sec. There he is. Demon magic. <laughs> Demon magic. That's going to be my so catchphrase for this project. So many instances of that in this game. <laughs> sure to steal our and ship. that's oh, three down. One more left to get. One to go. Pig. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do some more pig catching. <laughs> and the last one is over here by Elvis. Yeah, <laughs> the Elvis impersonator. Who actually we'll talk to you later because he does have some kind of importance. I found that he like he took the place of the dancing person from Majora's Mask. Yeah. Remember in the... Well, no, he's, he's kind of also like, um... Guru I'm... Guru in a way, too. Yeah, kind of. But yeah, he does the same thing. No, not you. Not you. <laughs> you! Come on, get him, get him, get him. Man, he's get him, get him, get him, Mega! Oh, nope! No, not no, you! No, not, was not you! Oh, they're so useless. Okay. <laughs> Man, this one's fast. The tricky one. The fastest kid alive. There you go. And there we go. That's all of them. And there's the bell. Or missile. <laughs> Our, I That's can't believe the game. All four of us. And for killing them, or not killing them, catching them. <laughs> for killing them. <laughs> we get nah. a heart piece. That's about all the time for this video, actually. Yep. Um, next time we'll continue on with our wooden fall shenanigans. So until next time, uh, uh, see ya. <laughs> uh, uh, let's kill the killer bees. And reminding you that that is important. <laughs>